Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Lurtes Studio Unreal and Unity Assets Giga Bundle. Now this is a collection of environmental assets and props, etc. Uh, for Unreal Engine and Unity, although as you will see in this video, you can actually get them into other game engines such as Godot. This is from Lurtes Studio. They've been on Humble more and more recently, so do make sure that you don't already own the asset you're interested in. For example, this is definitely a repeat. Uh... This is a repeat, this might be a repeat, this is a repeat, this is a repeat. Uh, and so on. But as you can see, it's a collection of stuff. A lot of them are actually environments, but we've got some characters in here, some environmental props, uh, weapons, a bit of sound effects, a couple of plugins, etc. And you're also going to notice that a lot of these are going to be for Unreal Engine only. Don't worry about that. There are ways to get from Unreal Engine to Unity or Godot or wherever you wish to be. Also, you'll notice some of them have both Unity and Unreal Engine logos. I will show you exactly how that works. So this is a bit of a split. So you've got um, some of these are available on the Lurtes store, Cosmo. Uh, some of them are available on Gumroad. Now, I would say about the majority are on the Lurtes store, which is very easy. It's a simple key, single key redeem, uh, and they do update them over time on their own store, which is nice. So you don't know how this works. Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff. In this case, uh, models and environments, etc. for 3D. Organized into tiers. You buy a hard every tier. You get all of the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated to Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do. And thank you so much you do to help support Game From Scratch. So what I'm going to do, instead of going through all these tiers, so there's your $1 tier, what you're getting. There's also even a couple tutorials in here, some sound effects, VFX stuff, and so on. You jump to the middle tier, you get a bunch more stuff, including this guy, the bowling alley, which we had in a previous bundle, and it's one of my favorite assets of all time, to be honest, because I love bowling as my demos, and we'll see that one in action in Godot in just a second. And here is your full fat tier. Once again, there are definitely repeats from previous bundles, such as this Steampunk Victorian Mega Pack was definitely in the earlier bundle, as was bowling, uh, and a few of these other ones as well. So make sure that you don't already own the assets you're interested in. Now let's go take a look at what these assets look like. We'll start off with um, Unreal Engine. So here's a straightforward one. This is the tram. So this gives you an idea. It is um, like blueprinted, so it controls it. You see the wheels animated and so on. So if you need a tram for your environment, this one makes a ton of sense. To go along with the tram thematically, we also have this guy. This is like a, a New Orleans type level. You know, think Mardi Gras. Uh, so let's just navigate around it right now. So my computer is getting a little upset about the number of game engines I have open once again. And so, you get the idea of what it works like. You also notice if you go into the contents of this guy, there's actually some, um, some assets available for you, like this. And obviously you can mix and match from the other packs. So I exported the tram in here. The tram is available as well. And then, boom, so if you needed to create a tram in your world, easy enough. So this is one of the examples running in Unreal Engine. Well, here is a Unity. This is the Western Town asset. Gives you an idea. I don't think there are interiors here. No, there aren't. At least not on the ones we're seeing here. But if you need to create an old-style saloon. Uh, the nice thing with the Unity stuff is you can actually decide which pipeline you actually wish to work with. So, pretty straightforward uh, package here. And now we're going to flip out of this guy. And show one last example. This is the Unreal Engine Bowling Alley asset. As you can see, it has been exported out. This is now running in the Godot game engine. So you can see the quality of exports you can actually get out. I'll have documentation down below for getting assets from uh, Unreal or Unity to Unity or Unreal. Also, how to get from both of those game engines to uh, the Godot game engine. Uh, and this, again, is the Bowling Alley environment as it's been exported over to uh, the Godot game engine. This took about... I would say a half an hour of cleanup. Basically, um, I exported it to GLB over into um, Blender, took it from Blender, took a couple of the things out, changed a couple of the styles and so on. And I've actually been playing around with this guy from the past because I was going to go and create this bowling game um, where you play a bowling alley uh, from the perspective of the bowling ball. Uh, and you'll see exactly what I mean in just a second when this build finishes. All right, so here we are. Our bowling ball, let's apply a little bit of an impulse to it. Here we go. So we go around the world, knock over some pins. We can roll around in the alley. So again, I was going to create this bowling game in Godot because I, I love bowling as like my hello world example. So this guy can navigate around the world until he hits his arch nemesis, which is stairs. Now I never set the camera up to orbit, but you can see again how you can use these particular assets uh, in your own environment as you wish. And uh, let's see over here if we got anything. I think we're going over to the arcade area there. All right. So here we are. Let's jump up on this pool table. 
So there you can see the kind of stuff you can do. If, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a full-fledged uh, Godot bowling simulator game. Uh, but yeah, that was created using this asset, which again comes from this pack. So uh, the way this works, again, some of these redeem on uh, Gumroad, where you can download them from Gumroad, but the most of them redeem on their store, which you can see in action here. So these are all of my purchases on the Cosmos by Lairtest store. Uh, so the various different things that we've seen here are all there. They've also broken it down by the like the tier you bought. So if you come in here to the tier, you're going to see all of the the objects in that tier. And then you're going to notice something like here. Here is that Western pack we grabbed earlier on. So you go to it. If you go to an asset that you own, then what you do is you come in here. It's got a breakdown of what goes together to make it. But what you can do is say, okay, I want this to be for Unreal Engine or I want it to be for Unity. Let's say I pick Unity. I come down here. Okay, I want it to be for 2022, which is the current LTS version. And I want it to be uh, built-in pipeline, HDRP pipeline, or universal render pipeline. And it will create the right version for you. Same time, you could do the same thing for the Unreal Engine. And then come on over here and pick the version of Unreal Engine you wish it to be for, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, do be aware, Unreal broke a few things over time. So they've got like drivable cars that are in this pack, for example. But the physics driving plugin was removed in 5.1 or 5.2. You might run into a little bit of that. There's not much they can do when, you know, Unreal Engine actually strips some of the functionality required out. But this is um, the majority of the assets, once again, so you come in here, it'll be in your purchases tab. The majority of the assets are redeemed this way on the Cosmos site, and you can download them out. And then once again, if you do grab these assets and bring them into Unreal Engine, it's very easy to get it from Unreal Engine out into other environments. Characters a little bit less so, but you'll also find the majority of the characters are actually over on the Gumroad side of things. Although we do have some of the weapons uh, and packs and such here. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that is the bundle. It is the Unreal and Unity asset giga bundle once again if you're wondering which one it is for just look for the icons it'll tell you so this again is unity and unreal unity and unreal but this one is unreal only interestingly enough the majority it's almost always got an unreal version uh, but there are a couple of things in here that are unity only not many uh, but there are a couple let's see if i can find one of the examples uh, might actually literally be just one. And then here we've got some, a couple of tutorials and courses as well in here. And a couple of tools are built in here as well. But uh, there is, it's probably this one that isn't loading for me right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the majority of these you will find are for uh, Unreal Engine. But you can tell by the logo there. And uh, again, check out the links below. I will show you how you can convert from Unreal Engine with, with relative ease, to be honest, uh, to other game engines. So don't let that part put you off if you're interested. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Lurtis Studio Unreal and Unity Assets Giga Bundle. Uh, again, my favorite part of it is creating a bowling alley uh, in the Godot game engine. But what can I say? I have a thing for bowling. Uh, so this bundle, again, do make sure you don't already own the things that you're interested in. And if you find a single item in here of interest to you, you're going to find uh, at $30, uh, you're getting, uh, what is it? Uh, 61. So if you buy one item there that has like a $30 value to you, you're basically getting 60 other assets for free. Uh, your medium tier is, uh, I think you're looking at 20 bucks there, uh, and you're getting actually quite a bit less. So I think the majority of people would either go this tier or that tier. But again, let me know what you think of this bundle. I, I think, again, the majority of people would probably be going for this tier here. But do be very, very aware. We have had repeats here. Uh, we've had a decent number of lure test bundles in the past. So you're going to find that we've already had some of these things for sure, 100%. So let me know what you think of this bundle. I will talk to you all later, and goodbye.